to another Minecraft video. And in this episode, I'm joining you on uh, my Let's Play. Not Xbox Let's Play. Let's Play. The one that... Yeah, yeah, Let's Play. Uh, yeah. I haven't recorded a video for this in a long time. A long time. Trust me. It's been a while. So, uh, as you can see, um, 1.9 is now out. So, there's dual wielding. So, that's cool. And also, um... Yeah, so uh, you can access your dual wielding here, or uh, your special button that you set up for it. It depends what you use, but yeah, so that's cool. But um, as you can see, here's my house. I've not seen this place in a long time. So, uh, well, anyways, let's go inside. I guess we can, uh, well, we need to get set up to get to the end, because there's really cool loot there, and uh, I really want to try to get there soon, but... The thing is, we still have other stuff to do. So first I'm gonna get some raw beef cooking. And uh, we need to work on this place, which is our little enchanting room place. And we do got um, 34 levels. Don't wanna die with those. So uh, what we're gonna do is put some bookshelves down. So uh, probably put some here first. And then uh, how many levels do we even get? Uh, we get seven so far. We're gonna need to get some lapis though. So. Yeah, uh, I don't know how much we have, though, is the problem. Uh, Alright, I'm going to head upstairs really quick, and I'm going to see if I can find any lapis that we got, because we might need some for this build, and that would be very handy indeed. So, uh, we need to find some. Now, the problem with uh, dual wielding is that I can't use my bow. So what I do is I have a special button that's like really close to the use item button. So I just press that really quick, and then I can crap. And then I can change and then shoot my bow. So there's also new arrows, but I have no clue how to make them. So, yeah. Woohoo. Yeah. What was up with that sign? Why is it? Why, why is it all messed up? What's wrong with it? That, that's really weird. Uh, so I hope that everything is going to work out good for this series because uh, hopefully the end is going to generate right and I know how to get to the new place there and I'm going to leave that surprise for all you guys, but probably by the time I get there, you know, everyone's gonna already have been to the end and be like, oh, that's, but I've already been there as well, so I think it's pretty cool, and if you don't know how to go there, well, you'll find out. So first we need to become knight, so we can go out hunting for ender pearls, but another thing we need is some more bookshelves. So we're gonna go down underground, and you can also dual wield swords as well, which I find was kind of funny, but you can't really use them though. You can only use one still because I thought it would be too OP. So yeah. Well anyways, um I, I think it's still fine dual wielding because then I can, you know, really quickly use my my bow and stuff. So I don't have to like cycle through the inventory to get to it. So that's kinda cool. But I'm gonna get rid of some of the stuff out of my inventory so I can get it more uh I guess sorted out. So what we're gonna do is we're gonna head back up and I really need to fix this staircase. It's like really bad. We need like a minecart or something. But uh, yeah, we don't really have too much, to be honest. We need to get more. Uh, first off, my pickaxe is actually about to break, which I didn't even notice that until just, until like just now. So I need to go find some uh, diamonds and see how much we have, uh, just in case we need to repair it. Whoa! <laughs> I didn't even know I had that much. Twenty-two diamonds. That's that's okay, I guess. Um. All right, let's just, really, you can do that? Oh, it's just double clicking. All right, that makes sense. Okay, I'm gonna make an anvil because I would like to be able to repair this just in case if it breaks. Plus I just want an anvil in the first place if I, yeah, I don't have one. All right, I was gonna say, if I have one, then I do not really need to make one, but I don't really have one. So yeah, all right, to make an iron block, you need to do that. And I have not played this in a while. So yeah, all right, there we go, all right, cool. I haven't played on the computer forever, so there we go. Um, now, there's even more recipes for me to try to remember now. Sadly, there aren't shields yet, but I would really enjoy having a shield. So I think they're adding them, though. Uh, I think I've heard in the next snapshot. I don't know, though. Maybe I'm completely wrong and everyone's just, like, laughing, but I, I don't know. Whatever. Well, it doesn't really matter, I guess. Um, I need more arrows. Do I have any flint so I can craft anymore? Because I would like to craft some because that would be useful. Now I think, I'm assuming the way to make the arrows is that you gotta use like splash potions or something and combine them with an arrow. That's what you would think they would have, at least. I, I don't know. 
Um, I should enchant my bow, but the problem is I don't really have a good level on my... Actually, wait a second. Uh, yeah, I can make some books. Um, Alright, cool. Uh, but I don't have a very good level um, of like enchanting, because I have like barely any books at all. So, <laughs> that's amazing. I never have any bookshelves. That's always the problem. I need to make some more books, though. So. If I can remember how to make them. Uh, all right, let's see. Let me just split these and on some paper really quick. Now I think the way you make a book is you gotta do it like that. Nope, that's not how you make. I don't remember how you make a book. Wow. I think I think it has to do something with leather. That's what. Oh, wait. Like that. All right, that makes sense. It. That's such a weird recipe. It's like how are you gonna remember that? It's like whatever. I don't even care. Um, I need a lot more paper. That is really unfortunate. I need, like, oh, wait, I have enough. Okay, I can make another book. That's nice. All right, uh, let's just, uh, we'll make another book really quick. Crap. Eh. No! <laughs> wow, I'm so bad at this. All right, there we go. <laughs> wow, uh, books. Books. Bookshelf. Awesome. There we go. That's better. Okay. Uh, let's uh, let's put a bookshelf there, and then how much levels do we get now? Is it just level nine? Because I think it only gives us the first levels. So it says I could get sharpness one, but I think if I add, I don't know. Whatever. It doesn't matter. I probably shouldn't have went into there yet because now it's probably going to want me to. Wait, was it two for it? Oh. All right. So I can get. It kind of tells you what you could get, so that's kind of nice. But um, I, I need to get uh, some more books. So, um, is anyone up for me going to get more sugar cane? Because I am not really up to do that. And I would very much love to get more sugar cane. I'm not sure if I even have any. Do I have any? Do I? I'm going to look up here really quick and see if I have any. Um, but there's also a new mob in this update as well, which is kind of cool. But it's still in... I don't know what's up with these signs. They're all glitched out. That's kind of weird. Alright, um... Alright, I need to find... What was it that I was even looking for? Oh, yeah. Um... Sugar cane. No, I don't have any sugar cane. That is annoying. Uh, do I have any randoms chest with, like, random stuff in it? Nope, not there. Uh, pfft, no, I don't think I have a random chest. That is really annoying, and I really need to get one. Uh, what's up here? Oh, nothing really. Alright, uh, we need to get more sugar cane, but I think I saw some down below, so that would be nice to grab. It's so expensive to get those books. It's kind of... Why is that glitching out? My bow. What if I click? It's kind of weird. Alright, there's skelly bones. Oh, look, look at it. He's, like, holding his bow down. That's actually really cool. Why, why aren't you attacking me? Hi, oh crap, oh crap, no, 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 alright, I'm gonna kill you, there we go, done. Uh, alright, I wish you could bone meal sugar cane, you know, I really wish you could do that. But there's also something new as well, and, uh, it adds to farming, which is, uh, well, it'd be nice if I could find some, I think you get it from punching grass, I don't know, but you can now get beetroots, and make beetroot soup as well, which is pretty cool. But I would like to get some rabbits, you know, I would like to find some rabbits and then just... Uh, put them in a pen. <laughs> and then maybe kill a couple so I can get their uh, rabbit foot stew. That would be nice as well. Um, Alright. I think that's what it was. Yeah, rabbit foot stew and then... Or it's just rabbit stew. I don't know. Uh, is there like no grass over here? There, there's some over here, I guess. That's okay. Um, let's just smash some really quick and see if we get anything. Because I'm not sure how you get beetroots. I think... I saw some... Whenever I was just looking through chests in the end. In that special place where all that new generations at, which you're going to see that eventually. In fact, I might do a video over it. Probably not, though, because I don't feel like doing a video over that. But, what? Those, do these drop, those drop sticks? They just add that? That's really cool. I didn't even know those would drop sticks. That's actually pretty cool and kind of useful. I didn't even, wow, I bet a lot of people missed out on that. All right, um... Anyways, uh, that, that's going to be something really hard to find unless you actually punch a dead bush or you watch this video and you'll be like, oh, alright, that's simple. Uh, but, yeah, alright. I don't ever remember them dropping those before. Uh, I'm going to see if I can get any beetroots, though, or beetroot seeds or something, because they look like, they, they basically look like poop, like little rabbit poops. So, we'll, we'll see if we can find them. I, I highly doubt that we're going to find them, though, because there's, like, nothing over here. Smash it! 
Smash it, smash it. Are we gonna get anything? I don't know how you get it, really. I mean, maybe, do you get it from smashing? Uh, you know, it's, maybe it's time to go Google it because this is, you know what, I'm doing it later. I don't feel like doing it now. All right, let's just get a couple more sticks. That's actually really nice if you live here because then I go say, oh, I need some sticks for something. Boom, you get sticks. That's nice because you don't have to craft them. Uh, because I'm that lazy. All right, uh, probably should, uh, get my sword out just in case if anyone comes along getting ready to kill me. Uh, why, why, oh, I was pressing the jump button. Wow. GG. All right, um, should I kill these cows? Because I have plenty of leather. Never mind, I'm not gonna go on a cow murdering spree yet. All right, um, I need to go find, oh, zombie. John Breach, can I kill you? But there's these new spectral arrows, but I don't know how to get them. Uh, and same with everything else. I have no clue how to get it, so... Stupid skeleton, come over here. I'm gonna get you. Actually, I'm gonna try using my bow. Boom. Ping him right in the head. Boom. They should count headshots in this game, to be honest. They should really do that, because that would be really useful. Uh, die. <laughs> Stupid creeper. Get back. Back. Yes, I win. I win and you lose. I wonder if you can pick up arrows now. No, you can't. All right, that's annoying. Um, all right, uh, we need to find. You know, I'm gonna go punch some more grass and just see if anything drops. You know, to be honest, I feel like she'd be sleeping right now because there's so many monsters out that it's it seems like a bad idea. All right, let's uh, let's sleep really quick because yeah. Um, what am I what am I gonna need to use that second pair of armor? Because I think I'm gonna need to use that sometime. Oh, alright, no, never mind. Uh, that's cool, I guess. Um, alright, let's go get some, uh, let's go see if we can get some beetroot seeds, because I would like to get some, and I have no clue how you get them. So, I, I would like to learn how to do that, which I think you just, I think you just punch grass. I'm pretty sure that's what you do, because that's what you do on Pocket Edition. Well, you hoe the grass, which is really annoying, because you basically destroy everything. I'm, I'm just gonna see if you can get any. I'm just gonna just punch some grass and see if I get anything. And then, if so, I'll be like, yeah. So, I know what the seeds look like. That That's for sure. Um, I'm assuming you'd get it from grass, though. I mean, where else could you get it from? I'm probably doing this completely wrong and everyone's like... But, of course, it is beetroot. Hmm, how do you get beetroot seeds? I don't know. I'll just look later because I don't feel like doing that now. Um, Alright. You know, I wish I could use my bow in my offhand. I really wish I could do that because that would be really nice. Uh, Alright. I should get rid of this, because this is like in the way, and I don't like it here. Uh, eh. There we go. Okay, uh, I should probably make some more... You know, I think I'm just going to go on an adventure again, because I really need to... You know, I need to get more food really quick, because... I, I would like to go get some more sugar cane, but the problem is... Is that, um... Uh, sugar cane's pretty far out, because I've adventured before, and it's not really kind of hard to get sugar cane, to be honest. Uh, it's not really very easy to find, and it's kind of frustrating, but, uh, there's a mistake. All right, cool. Um, yeah, I'm gonna go look down there really quick and see if anything else has grown, but if not, then I'm probably going to just go on an adventure. So, yeah, that should be cool. But I would really like to get beetroots. Maybe you get them from villages? I doubt that, but maybe you can. I don't know. The problem is I have to generate new villages if I'm gonna try to find them. Uh, I should probably get some potatoes as well, some patatties. Uh, there we go. All right, awesome. Uh, let's let's harvest everything actually because I don't really feel like. Ooh, more sugar cane! Yay! I'd like to also try to find an ocean monument sometime, but I've heard that you need full diamond armor for that, so I could use that probably. Yeah, definitely. All right. Um, yeah, th this game has certain like it's suddenly gotten kind of hard. I mean, it's gotten decently harder since whenever it first came out, <laughs> which is good because it needs some difficulty, uh, but I think they've made it much more difficult now, which is good because that new dimension, that uh, it's it's like kind of like the end, but you have to go through this other portal that spawns, which you'll find out that if you don't know how to get there already, because I'm going to eventually do a Let's Play video over that, which is going to be this Let's Play, eventually I'm going to have an episode where I go there, which is going to be pretty cool. And that's going to be after I fight the dragon. So then. But the problem whenever you go there is you get lost really easily. Because there's like islands everywhere. Well, at least the one that I was in. I saw tons of islands and stuff. And you can get really good stuff there too. Because I saw that you can get like diamond armor and 
that's enchanted too. So I would recommend going there, but I feel like I did see an ender chest there though. Like they actually spawn in inside the dungeons, which is kind of cool. So then you could just like put your stuff in there and then just jump off a cliff. So uh, I wouldn't recommend killing the dragon and then going straight to that dimension because then you're probably gonna lose all your XP because yeah, because if you want to kill yourself by jumping off a cliff just to get out of there, because it's really difficult to get out. I mean, like I lost the uh, portal. And I did it on creative mode as well, so it's not really. So I just basically jumped out of the world to get out. So, yeah, that's pretty difficult. But let's get some, uh, let's make some more books. So, crap. Eh, there we go. Okay, uh, we need to get a little bit more sugar cane, though, if we're going to make more books. Uh, but, yeah. So we'll just fill that in there. And uh, we'll get our leather. And, yeah. All right. Um... Now, my only problem... Ooh, wait a second. Was I going to build a brewing room last time? Because it was so long ago whenever I recorded last episode. Um, let's stick those in there. Then we'll make some... Yeah, let's make some uh, bread really quick. That could be nice. There we go. We got so much food now. I'm going to go put some up in the kitchen real quick. Because why not? And then I'm probably going to put my brewing stand up there too. Because I don't feel like building a brewing room. Uh, boom. All right, cool. You know, I think I actually... I didn't know I had that. Wow, that's really, really... Oh, I have lots of food, actually. Um, alright, well, <laughs> that, that, I feel like such a failure now, doing that. Like, just going and getting tons of crap, and then I realize I have that. Alright, um, but I guess you might as well look in the kitchen for food. I mean, doesn't it make sense? I'm assuming yes. Uh, but, alright, um, got some more chicken as well. Uh, let's put these carrots in here, too. Why not? They're food. Uh, okay. There we go. We'll just put the rest in there later. Um, do I have any pie? No, I don't. Alright, that's unfortunate. Because I want pumpkin pie. That's all I want right now. Do I actually have any pumpkins? Because I think I have some. Because I could start a pumpkin farm, too, if I have any. Yes, I do have one. I could probably start growing that. Uh, let me actually get these potatoes as well. Because I kind of need to get food. Well, yeah. I mean, this is not going to last forever, but yeah. Alright, I'm just, I'm going to stick the rest of these potatoes in the furnace just to get those cooking as well. There we go. And we'll stick the chicken in there. And what we're going to do is, I think, maybe go out and get a little bit more sugar cane because we're going to need to get some. And we're going to start like a mass sugar cane farm. <laughs> uh, I, I am actually kind of excited to do that. So well, let's just go out and we're going to go get some more sugar cane. Uh... Yeah, I feel like that's gonna be a bad idea. Never mind. Let's just, uh, I saw some down there, so we're gonna put, we're gonna spread them out a little bit further. Like, we'll make the farm a little bigger. So then we can, like, mass produce sugar cane. And, uh, that would be cool. And, yeah. Alright, give me this. Give me all your sugar cane. Did I get that? Yeah, I did. Alright, cool. Uh, we need to, I think. No, never mind. That's not a problem. Cool. Alright, uh, ooh, yay, more sugar cane. It's like right off the bat, I get more. Um, I'm gonna, I think, downstream a little bit and see if I can find any more uh, sugar cane plants just kind of growing down here because I could really use some right now. I really, really need to enchant something because before I lose all my levels, because, yeah, I don't really want to lose all my levels, but I would like to get into the beetroot stuff, getting some beetroot seeds, but the problem is I don't know how to get them. So that's part of the problem. I didn't even know you could get sticks from those bushes, though. That's from the dead bushes. That's kind of cool. But, yeah. So, um... Ooh! Sugar cane! Alright, this is the place to look, I guess. Well, there's probably better places, to be honest. But, yeah. Alright. Is there anything else? Apparently they spawned on red sand. I didn't know they did that, but that's cool. Well, anyways, let's grab it really quick. Um, I got some food here. I need to just gobble it completely down, because why not? And let's get some sugar cane. So, that will be cool. And, um, you know, I could almost just, uh, put my sword here. So then I could, uh, then just switch it over whenever I need it. Just throw it in the other hand and just smack stuff with it. But, uh, do I? Alright, good, I have my compass as well. That's cool. Um, alright, let's grab a little bit more sugar cane. Some sugar cane. And, uh, yeah, this is going to be really nice because then we can, um, We'll grow, uh, we'll grow the rest of it at the house. In fact, we're gonna grow all 18. Well, there's gonna be even more because there's some over there too. But, uh, yeah, this is like the ultimate hunt for sugarcane. 
That, that's what I'm going to call this episode. Ultimate Hunt for Sugarcane. Or even better. I have no clue. Whatever. Um, Alright, well, let's get some more sugarcane because we really need it for our, this project. And my plan was to actually um, uh, make uh, like this map really automated. Like to try to make like an automated chicken farm like on my Let's Play and stuff. Because on my Let's Play I have like... I don't even know if you guys have seen it because I don't think I've ever shown it off. But... I have this little chicken machine, and then it basically drops the eggs into hoppers, which is kind of cool, and it collects it, so, yeah, that's nice, but, um, yeah, so the reason why I'm using my fist to punch down everything is because I don't want to waste all my tools, so, yeah, that's kind of why I'm punching everything with my fist, because why not? Um, you know, this game, this game is kind of unrealistic, because first off, blocks can't float, well, they float in this game, but... I don't think they would float in real life. That would be really weird. Unless you put, like, jets on the back of them or something, and it would be like, yeah. But, uh, no, they cannot, nothing can fly. Well, birds can fly, and, yeah. But, uh, if you throw a piece of dirt in the air, it's not going to start flying. So, that's one thing about this game, is it's unrealistic. Plus, another thing is if you start punching a cactus, it doesn't hurt you. That, that's one thing. It would be kind of annoying, but I think they should add it, though, for some reason. I feel like they should add that, but... I don't know why. I don't know why I'm even saying that. You know, I'm probably just giving them ideas. Of course, when when would they ever watch this video? When, when would Mojang ever watch this video? When? I, I highly doubt it. But anyways, let's go grab some. Uh, let's go grab some sugar cane, and uh, oh, there's even more. That's cool. All right, we can just grow them all along the little riverside, going like all the way down. <laughs> and then I'm gonna be like laughing because I'm gonna have so much sugar cane here. But uh, wait, can I block with the what? Why am I able to block with a sword, but, like, huh, it's kind of weird. What if I, huh, I can block with my sword now. Oh, that'd be cool. I could use this as, like, so, all right, so the usable items, like, food, it does not work with it. But if you use your hand, you can block, but you can't attack with it. That, that's, it's kind of cool, but I wish I could use the sword to attack whenever it's in my offhand, I think is what the other hand's called. So, yeah, what does that say? Um, when, oh, it says when used in main hand. All right, I didn't see that before. So I think, okay, so it says it's attack damage is used whenever it's in the main hand. All right, and then, okay, and then torches. Uh, something cool about torches is like, let's say I want to uh, go mining. I can use um, this so then I can be mining and then I can just place a torch like that. So that's something that's an advantage of dual wielding. So that's kind of cool. But yeah. So, um, I'm gonna get rid of that. And booyah. So let's get my bow. Crap. I didn't want to do that. And also it actually animates, which is kind of cool. So, like in the inventory, as you can see down there, it kind of does that. But yeah. Alright. Uh, let, let's grab a little bit more sugar cane. And without further ado, we can plant the rest of it. And, uh, we can get going on building that enchantment table, because why not? Alright. Wait, will it let me... Oh, it doesn't let me use the bow. Alright. Um, Alright, let's just plant all of this, because why not? In fact, I feel like I'm wasting my time with that, and I'm not going to place all of those, but yeah. Alright. I'm, I'm, I'm in fact going to turn it into um, uh, books. <laughs> and yeah, so... Uh, it, it's funny how simply you can turn sugarcane into paper. It's it's actually kind of funny how fast you can turn it into that. I mean, there's no way you could do that. I mean, you'd need other stuff too. I mean, yeah. But at least it's not too expensive. But yeah. Alright, let's go craft the, uh, the rest of my books. And after that, we can probably do something else. Because I would really like to get something enchanted in this episode, but I highly doubt that that... that... Uh, that that's gonna happen. So yeah. Well, if we can make five books. No, we got seven now. So we could probably... Yeah, we can make two more. Alright, that's nice. Okay, cool. Um, Alright, that's nice. So we can make uh, two more bookshelves. So that's cool. So let's go and we'll plot those down in here and we'll see how many levels we get now. Well, of course it's not gonna show us though. What do we Ooh, we could get, like, Silk Touch and stuff on this. That could be cool. Um, but I think if you put in um, the axe, 
And then I think it says efficiency. Like maybe I could get efficiency two on it because it says efficiency one. Maybe that's the lowest level or maybe there's a higher level. I don't know. I'm going to try that later. I, I don't really understand that. I've never actually used an enchantment table with the lapis now. I've never tried that before, which I kind of want to try that, but looks like I got some of the tatties in here. Uh, I'm going to devour one of those just because why not? And I think what we're going to do now is, uh, well, we need some of the sugar cane to grow, so I'm probably just going to sit around off camera and just get tons of sugar cane so then we can finish off the enchantery next episode because, yeah, we only have five minutes left in this episode, so we're not going to be able to enchant anything, which I wish we could. I remember when that place got blown up right here. Like, that got blown up once, and that was really annoying. Um, the, there's a zombie and two skeletons and a creeper and a spider. So let's kill all of those now because we can get them out of the way. Really? I hate it whenever they wear armor. It really makes them... Oh, there's a zombie. I was like, what? Uh, crap. It, there's... Uh, all right. I only have three arrows. You know what? I'm just going in for the kill. Come here. Come on. Yes, yes, me got you. But I really like the new animation with them. I think it's pretty cool. But uh, it, it at least gives you a warning. Because before you didn't have any warning, they would just shoot you right in the face. So. Oh, no, 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 no. No, no, you're not touching me, bro. You're not touching me at all. Alright, um, that is not nice. And I, I need to get golden apples now that I think about it. Because. Then I could uh, have like some in my offhand, because I've tried that before and it works really good. So I'm going to try that sometime. If I ever get any golden apples or potions or something, because I'd like to be able to just like switch it out and drink a potion like that. But yeah, I can't do that. So yeah, anyways, let's um, let's kill this, uh, this creeper. So uh, what I could do is use like the sword to block as well. I'm not even sure what blocking does. Did it, like, does it protect you from explosions or something? Let's try that. I don't think it did anything. Alright, I, I think I was too far away from it. Let's just kind of... I don't even know why I did that. I just basically blew a hole in the ground. He kind of helped me get a tree, though. That's nice. Um, Alright, let's just fill that in really quick, because why not? Because we don't really want that there. Alright, um, let's just fill that in. I want to try going mining, because I kind of want to get a little bit more iron, maybe. So we could get some more, almost. I don't know why I'd want to do that, though. But uh, it looks like there's skelly bones on the roof and a zombie, so we might want to take those guys out later. Or they'll just despawn or something. I don't know. Whatever. Uh, I can't believe how many levels we got. I definitely don't want to die or I'm going to be, like, screwed. But anyways, uh, yeah, I'm probably just going to, like, sit around off camera. And I really like this view. I can, like, look down there and just see the sugar cane growing. Well, kind of. It's not really doing anything too much, but... Alright, let's just eat. And then, uh... Trying to conserve my food here. <laughs> just like use like the more pointless smaller foods for like leftover stuff. But yeah. Alright. Uh, is there anything that I could make? Um, I'd really like to figure out how you make those arrows. I'm going to have to research off camera. Because I'd like to figure out how I would do that. Because I would like to do that. But uh, currently we don't really have too high of a level. Ooh. You know I think it might be... I don't know how these work, the enchantment tables. I'm going to have to experiment with it. But it says that Band of Arthropods 2. So I think the higher the level, the better. Like, it'll be. I don't know. I'm kind of confused by that, but whatever. Uh, I haven't actually used enchantments, though, like, since they added Lapis to it. So it's slightly more confusing for me, but I don't know. It's probably easier once you learn the basics of it. But I know now you can actually trade... Um, rotten flesh to villagers and they'll give you an emerald if you have enough. Uh, that's cool. But, um, I'm gonna go sleep really quick just so we can get these mobs off my house. Alright, yeah. Uh, but I would like to get a full pair of diamond armor sometime. Now, why do I have that door open? Because I'm gonna get killed by something. And I know that's gonna happen. I think I can get on the roof as well. No, I can't. That's... I like how the skeletons walk now. They're, like, it's kind of funny looking. Like, look at their bows. <laughs> they just like kind of just like kind of drag them along. I'd like to get on the roof and steal their bones and crap, but I don't know how well that's actually gonna go. Uh, can I jump off of here? Yeah, I can. All right, cool. Uh, hello, Mr. Skelly Bones. Are you trying to stay alive? Because you're not going to now. Oh, you're dead. All right. Uh, let's get a little bit of this and we'll fill in the land here. 
And yeah. So, uh, there we go. All fixed, kind of. Um, there we go. Now it's fixed, kind of. Yeah. All fixed. Uh, actually, now it's fixed. There we go. Except for the top right there, that's a little weird, but who cares? Uh, alright. What we're gonna do now is we're gonna go and we're gonna check out the barn and see if there's anything in here that we might need. Uh, you know, I think I might go on a horsey adventure. H how do you feel about that? I don't think he really cares. Okay, well, I'm just gonna take my horse for a ride, because why not? Uh, you know, this is actually kind of cool. Uh, look at this. Ha! <laughs> Only if I had two swords, that'd be pretty cool, because you can dual wield two swords. Uh, I'm gonna go kill these cows really quick, and I'm gonna see... Actually, never mind. Nope, nope. Yeah, I'm gonna kill the cows, and then I'm gonna end off the episode, because it's time to end it. And this horse is actually kind of slow, but I don't really care. He, he's actually faster than me, probably. But, yeah, anyways, let's get up here really quick, and then we can go, and, uh, I was gonna try to do, um, a Let's Play on Ark, uh, Ark Survival Evolved. I tried to do that, but it was way too laggy, so I basically just played the game, and now I'm on, like, level, uh, 42 now or something. No, not 42. Uh, like, 30. I'm almost level 40, basically, so if you haven't heard of that game, a lot of YouTubers play it, so I recommend checking, uh, if, uh, why, why can't I get off of my horse? Do you mind getting in there? I'm gonna get myself killed because of you. You are such a jerk. Alright. I can't even fit him in the pen. That, that's a problem. I need to fix this stupid pen. Hey, horse. Okay. Um, do you mind maybe getting inside the pen so I don't get killed? How's that sound? How, how's that sound, horse? How's that sound? I, I don't think he really cares. I need to get inside this pen, though, is the problem. Um, you know, I could probably just craft a, uh, a fence really quick. Uh, I'm trying, or a gate. That's what it was. I'm trying to remember how you make it. Is it like that? Yeah, it's like that. All right, cool. Um, all right, let's just put the gate right there. All right, so now it'll be like, um, on my Let's Play on Xbox, so it'll be like, um, can I not mine super fast on a horse? Can, can I not? I'm gonna use an axe and see if it's faster. Yeah, it's definitely faster. Okay, let's just put that there and then we can go in here and then we can put my horse in. That's a lot better. So, crap! No, I didn't mean to do that. Sorry, horsey. In fact, I don't think he even got hurt. Nope, he's a little brat. He didn't get hurt, but I got hurt. Alright, um... Anyways, yeah, let, let's go. And I'm gonna end off the episode now because we're at 33 minutes now. It was kind of a pointless video. I mean, I just basically showed off dual wielding and figured out that you could get sticks from those. And also got like three books inside the place. Yeah, off camera, I'm just going to get all the bookshelves that we need. I'm going to place them in there. And then whenever I join you back, I'm just going to actually, you know, I could just go get all that. But later. Uh, yeah, but uh, what I was going to do is I'm actually going to throw this in French really quick. And next episode, I'm just going to place down all the bookshelves and then I'll um, chat something. So that'll be cool. But uh, that's for um, next episode. So hope you guys